So here comes our second solution, a fiber upgrade that laughs at lightning and sets you up for the next decade. Hi tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. So that's our client's main house. And that building over there, their warehouse. They want to connect both together, but in between, there are 600 feet of grass and headache. They try to chain two Ethernet switches, one in the warehouse and one out here, with a little switch hidden midway in a shed. It worked, but power out there was a pain. The corporate Ethernet run got noisy during storms and the network kept dropping at the worst times. So today, I'll show you some clean, reliable ways to bridge that gap. So let's start with why old approach failed. Standard Cat6 Ethernet cable is rated for about 328 feet, that's 100 meters. Past that, copper suffers signal loss, and if you try to keep pushing it, your data rates and reliability fall off a cliff. And on top of that, power over copper drops with distance. And the midway switch here needed power where there wasn't a convenient outlet. So we want two things here. No power gear in the middle of the run and a link that stays up rain or shine. That means no more maintenance. So our first solution is a long range PoE unit. Think of it as Ethernet with a longer stride. It's designed to push a stable 100 megabit per second for very long distances up to 500 meters, which is about 1,640 feet. That's more than enough for our 600 feet run. And it's perfect for cameras, Wi-Fi, and labeling printers in the warehouse. So long-range switches uses a signaling profile that prioritizes distance over raw speed, and it manages how power is delivered to keep the link stable. You trade peak bandwidth for reach, but you avoid that unreliable midway switch entirely. Just one continuous cable, no outlets in the field, and no little box halfway that die in a thunderstorm. So now you can see our router is connecting to the LAN port of our long-range PoE switch. The long-range port is the special one we'll use for the run. We're pulling an outdoor rated solid copper CAT6 cable in one piece, no couplers. And if you are bearing, you can use gel fill direct burial or run conduit. And that long cable lands on the warehouse long-range PoE switch. And we are powering this switch from the AC inside the warehouse so we can connect to other devices. So the long range PoE is about delivering a clean extended data link without needing a power device in the middle. And you can patch from your switch to your access point, cameras, whatever needs internet. If your area gets mild weather, this might be all you ever need. But our client had another problem, lightning. Copper is conductive. Even if a strike is far away, induced surges can ride that cable. You can add surge protection and grounding, but if you're rural or storm prone, there's a better tool for the job. So here comes our second solution, a fiber upgrade that laughs at lightning and sets you up for the next decade. Fiber does not carry electricity, it carries light. No current means no lightning induced surge traveling between buildings. So that's why utilities campuses use it. It also laughs at distance, hundreds, even thousands of feet. With no signal loss, you'll notice at gigabit speed. And if you ever need 10 gigabit later, you're already 90% there. So let's begin. But one problem here, copper devices speak Ethernet, but fiber is light, so we need interpreters at each end. That's our fiber media converter. They turn copper to fiber, and then fiber back to copper over there. And our gigabit fiber media converter is plug and play. Just power it, Ethernet in, fiber out. And no VLAN needed, no special config, auto negotiates and just passes traffic. Let's do it. 
I will put it on our demonstration board. Then we'll need a short patch cord connecting from the LAN port of our router directly to the copper port on our media converter. Then we can power it up. We can see the indicated lights are on. Then we'll use our pre-made fiber optic cable because it saves time and you can order the length you need with factory installed connector and a pulling eye to protect them. There's no need for splicing in the field, no fusion splices, no guesswork. So all we need to do is just connect our fiber optic cable. First, you'll need an SFP transceiver. This is where you connect to the fiber optic cable. I'll slide it into the SFP slot. We have two string here, so let's use string C. And you should keep the dust cap on until the moment you plug in. Then click it in. Now you can route the fiber from the house to the warehouse, direct burial or armed fiber for underground. Otherwise, condos is fine and you should respect band radius. Big gentle curves, never tight kinks. And here we have our media converter at the warehouse. Let me slide in our SFP transceiver. Remember, we used string C. Let's connect it. All right. So our client wants multiple devices at the warehouse. So everything can power it cleanly. We can keep our original device or you can skip the warehouse size converter entirely by using a PoE switch with SFP slots. And the SFP is basically a little fiber transceiver you pop in. Same results, one less box. But we are keeping this one here, so let me use a short patch cord connecting from our PoE port to the copper port. So now the data goes through to the PoE switch, then pass through the data and power to the wireless access point. So in conclusion, long range PoE shines when you want the simplest path. One long ethernet cable, no powered box in the middle, and steady 100 megabit up to 500 meters. It's quick to deploy and easy to troubleshoot. But fiber, is the stormproof option. It meets long distances without signal loss, isolates your buildings against lightning surges, and future-proofs you for multi-gig speed. It's slightly more to plan at the first, mainly picking the right cable and connectors, but once it's in, it's rock solid. But either way, the setup is straightforward when you follow the right steps. Now, thank you very much for joining us. If this video helped you solve a long distance link, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and feel free to tell me where your furthest run is. I'll see you then.